Shady, I don't think the Eagles are going to get back on track, not the Super Bowl track. And here's the reason. Nick Sirianni, he went to his presser today. You know I follow all of the Eagles beat reporters still, so I'm very in tune with what's going on on the ground there. And he said something that it made me go, wait a second, I don't like this. Reading at home, you can read some of it. I'll just paraphrase. He says, we're fortunate to have receivers that can get open one-on-one. I'm going to cut to the bottom. So you use that luxury, and we've been pretty successful with some of those plays that we've had to go about doing. He's essentially saying in this quote that because he has such talented receivers one-on-one, you don't have to put an emphasis on scheme because your receivers can win. But just because your receivers can win doesn't mean you should force your receivers to win. Mm. I was thinking about it this morning. I don't think it's a coincidence that the three teams the Eagles have lost to all have top five cornerback tandems. Mm. You got the Jets. You got the Niners. You got the Cowboys. (laughs) See, against the Giants, against the likes of the Commanders, against lower tier teams that don't have as talented rosters, the Eagles don't have to win with talent and scheme because they can win with talent. But what do the Eagles do when the opposition has just as much talent as you do, particularly able to mitigate the strength of your wide receiving core? Then you need scheme to step in. Shady, the reason I don't think the Eagles are going to get back on track is because they have the curse of the gifted. And the gifted is A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith are so talented that the coaches don't have to excel in scheme because their receivers can win. Think about what lost the Eagles the Super Bowl last year. Andy Reid said, you know what? Sky Moore and Kadarius Toney, they can't win one-on-one. So what am I going to do? I'm going to scheme them up to win one-on-one. Motion, ghost motion. Speed motion, quick motion. But the Eagles don't have to do that because A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith can win one-on-one. They need to do that. Until you got to see Gilmore every single snap or Traverius Ward every single snap or Sauce Gardner, Sam's Lane Johnson every single snap. I'm not confident the Eagles get back on track the more I think about it. Yeah, I I think they can get back on track. I mean, certain games they've showed some creativity, right? Even the, um, the Chiefs game. Right? Up and down game in the first half, second half, what did they do? They needed a spark. They needed a boost. What did they do? They went to Swift. Right? They had two running backs in the game. They faked the running back to Boston Scott, and they had Swift come on the sweet sweep. Like, we, they got some ways to be creative. So when you talk about the wide receivers, the, the blessing of that is we don't have to do as much window dressing because we do have the number one yep. receivers. So I, all I ask, right, from Nick is just, just give us a little something, right? Put these guys in position to win. I know it's easy to go out there and say, hey, I got Smith on this side, I got AJ, who's a freaking dog on this side, go win. That's the easy way to do it. But I think you could simplify a little bit more and give him a chance to win and make it easier for him, right? He, he, I think the way that the Niners use Debo, Ayuk, like it makes it easier for him. And then there's times where it's not easy and they make it happen. So I just ask that maybe we get a little bit more um, creativity with our offense, right? And then scheme out a little bit. Let these boys, let, take the pressure off of Jalen Hurts as much. Take some that off. Let them young boys go out there and play. Yeah. See, um, I don't have confidence that Eagles is going to bounce back. And, and this really hits home for me because that's how we were treated. Myself, Jordy Nelson, Donald Driver, Greg Jennings, Randall Cobb, we was all on the same team. And it was line up and play because we better than you. Point blank period. One on one, somebody's going to win. I understand all that because they've shown you that they can win consistently. But then it became a time to where Patrick Peterson and Darrell Revis and those boys started watching film. Oh, this is what they do on third down. Oh, these is the plays they like to do on second down. Oh, these is their favorites on first down. And it was times to where we got end breakers. We like end breakers on first down. They inside leverage. <laughs> What are we going to do? As good as you may think I am, as good as you may think Greg Jennings is, as winning one of there's really nothing to do. And for AJ especially on the outside, when a corner is inside leverage on you like Stephon Gilmore was and you're outside the numbers, you got two routes, G. It. It's a go or stop. And Stephon Gilmore know that. And you think you're going to beat these elite corners on that? No. Is Tyreek Hill a number one receiver? Absolutely. He all over the place. He at the wing back. He at the H back. He at the slot receiver. He motioning this way. He coming over. They moving him. Is Debo Samuel number one? Is C.D. Lamb a number one? They're moving these boys around. And it's not to move so you can win. It's move to create space for you. If Debo right. got two yards of separation because I created space, it's a tough tackle. Yeah. Same thing with A.J. Brown and those boys. So just be creative to create some space for those boys to win. But it sounds like they're not going to change, and we stuck in our own ways, and that is why that's not, that's I not, do not, not have confidence See, this in is you going into Seattle. I'm not saying you need a big change, but for small things like, like, the, like the flat curl concept. But that sounds like you the can, boys got to win. But I'm saying you could do all that and, and put it in um, um, bunch 
formation. That's the whole you can get the same. Shady. You can get the same place from so many different. That's, that's all I'm asking. All I'm asking. I'm, and I'm asking the same thing with you, Shady. But it sounds like Nick is like, no, you've been winning, win. You've been winning. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Well. They were winning, yes, they but were. they just lost back-to-back games back to the other back. two best teams in the conference. So if you want to triple down on that, be my guess. I, I wouldn't recommend it because everyone sees the same thing, and I would hope, I would assume, that they see it as well. They're smart guys. They've done a lot of winning during the regular season and, and in the postseason last year. So make the adjustment. You have four games coming up that are absolutely winnable games. You can build an identity. You can build confidence and momentum heading into the postseason. Go do it. Just like the Cowboys had the opportunity to prove who they were and they've been doing it, just like the Niners have, go do it. You have the ground in front of you to do it and starting this weekend on the road, but they're banged up at the quarterback position. They haven't been playing well lately. This is a, this is a win if you go and play at the standard, which we know that they have, they have the capability of playing even if we haven't seen it consistently this year. Here's my fear, though, Joy, and this has truly been my fear all season long, Shady. It's been my fear all season long, James, is the Eagles got away with it. Yes. That's why, like, every time I was so concerned, I didn't want the Eagles to blow teams out because it's college and I cared about style points. I'm looking and I'm like, they will win the next four of these games if they don't improve <clears throat> because their players are just better. Yeah. You can go to Seattle and you can win because your players are just better. You can go to New York and you can win because your players are just better. You can go to New York again and you can go to Arizona and win because your players are just better. But when you play a team whose players are as good, now all of a sudden you have to work on skills you haven't worked on. That's why I'm looking at these Eagles and I'm concerned because Nick Sirianni, I, was, I, was, I had to watch the quote three different times. It wasn't a quote when I watched it. I listened to it. And he was like, yeah, I mean, we do a couple things, but we're fortunate enough to have the luxury of having guys that can win. Yeah, until they can't. Yeah. But, but even that, though, so, like, and, and I know I know what this is right here. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> All you other than Joy, you want to just beat on my ego. No. Right? No. Man, but, like, like let's just keep it real. So, it's, it's only been one game that we, we lost that we really couldn't do nothing, right? In Cowboy game, we lost the game, but we beat them, too. We beat the They beat us, we beat them. I mean, and you got two good teams in the same conference. Normally, the home team wins, Correct. The Jets team, I, I mean, they, we lost a bad Jets team. Okay, it happens, right? The Cowboys lost to the Cardinals. It happens. Minnesota beat the, or beat the uh, 49ers. Yeah. It happens. The Niners is the only team that really just handed us a, a whooping, and it was no division. Yeah. Best of best, we beat you at your house. So I get that. That's a real whooping. But don't act like A.J. Brown ain't A.J. Brown. He is. Smith ain't Smith. Like, no, we no. all them guys right. still. We just having a bad pass, yeah. and we all, hold up. Through football, our careers, we all had a bad couple of weeks. No, couple question. Of months. no question. But the thing is, it's really? not bad. Yeah. Like, remember, A.J. Brown against the Niners had 140 yards, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. But was... Against the Cowboys, he had 90 yards. I'm not saying that it's bad. What I'm saying is, A.J. has to work too hard. Dude, that's, 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 that's all I'm saying. Like, but, but that, A.J. But, has but, to work that, too hard. But that did work to beat the Cowboys. They're a good team. But, but they worked but for it's that. Not, I can't just look at wins and losses. Oh, you can't? The reason I can't is because the Cowboys have out outgained exponentially the Eagles in both games and have had a better offense than the Eagles in both games. Now, in one game, Cowboys, Dak Prescott, his foot stepped out of bounds, and Cowboys tight end, I think it was Shoon Shoemaker, he got tackled for one yard. So, <laughs> what, what, what is all that? What that's saying is, is like, I, I can't just say you won, you lost. I'm like, well, how does it look? How does it look? It's, it's, it's hard, man. And we all know, I mean, like Bosa said, gave you the blueprint, right? But I just want to talk on the outside. The very first game, the that, that it started happening. The Kansas City Chiefs said, we're going to take Sneed, yep. and he's going to follow. Well, Sneed's balling. No question. Okay. Acho brought up the point about good corners and good players, mm -hmm. right? So they had Sneed follow A.J. everywhere. A.J. is a receiver on the outside, outside of the numbers, a big-time receiver. We had him in the MVP conversation. Oh, AJ, Brown, AJ Brown. But that is extremely hard, and I'm talking from experience to where you got Richard Sherman inside leverage on you, and I got to go or stop. He know that. Or if I do got an end breaker, <laughs> I luck. can't get jammed up on TV. You know what I'm saying? Trying to fight my way to get inside. So shorten the splits. Move them in motion. It's hard for people to follow it all. That's all that. I'm saying. But since that game, the Kansas City game, they ain't changed nothing. He went into the Niners yeah. game with that, caught a couple slants and running the ball. But it was a lot of targets that he had to where you can't even put the ball in these certain spots for Jalen. And I, the same thing with the Dallas Cowboys. It's going to be tough on him. I, I hear you. Make it easier. I hear you. And I agree. Make it easier. But at the end of the day, at the worst of the worst, 
We are 10 and 3 time for the best no question. So, no some we've been doing been working. It ain't been great, yeah. but it's been working. But the way you've been playing, the main it's like thing, you're going to be 10 and 4. That's yeah, all well, I'm saying. You was rocking with now, you're not. Anyway, the main thing's the main <laughs> thing. What's that? that? Before we say we the best team of football on, I was like, okay. Oh, Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.